What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the Air Jordan 1, Palomino. Alright guys, now before I get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going. I see you guys liking my content. Also, let me know I'm in the right direction to show you guys what you want to see. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, the 4K video, it's not a 4K video behind me. But let's get into it guys so i had the romero 5 right here that dropped as well today that we'll be showing you guys next but today it kind of felt like an air jordan 1 era it was a lot of people outside well honestly it was only like 10 to 15 people but um it was good to see a little bit of a crowd and have a few conversations out there real sneakerhead type of stuff but uh let's get into it guys so this is the box right here black box we get the gold accents at the top which is really really dope all right i did go to size 9.5 on here the suggested retail is 180 they did sell out on men's sizes on the sneakers app, but they do still have GS sizes. In my opinion, this is a shoe you definitely want to have because it really does remind you of the Mocha. And in my opinion, this is kind of better than a Mocha, but let's get into it, guys. So open up the top of the box here. We do get a stamp on the top of the box, as you guys can see. We get some regular tissue paper and taking out this beautiful shoe. Now, later on in the video, I will be showing you guys the shoes with white laces and black laces. Um, I do like the black laces a lot better in my opinion. I like black. Black is probably my favorite number one color. And then it goes to gray and probably green or like an olive. And then, you know, I do like the white laces on these, but I only like them with white socks. So let's say like the summertime. Um, and I do like them with sweatpants and jeans and cargo. So if you have like a white and brown shirt, you definitely want to put the white laces in here. But normally what I do is I put one and one in my shoe, but if the you see how this one has the black on the lace holes? Whatever shoe has the black on the lace holes, in my opinion, is no, nine times out of 10 better to go with that color, the solid color, because it's paired better and it just looks a lot cleaner. But you know, to each his own, I will be showing you guys a little bit of some options later on, so stay tuned for that. But this is the shoe right here, guys. What do you guys think, man? Copper drop, let me know in the comments box below. Are you guys picking these up? These do have a little bit of resale value at the moment, but like I said, because of the whole mocha and it looking like a Travis Scott shoe, you know, these shoes, Will probably go up over time so if you can while it's sitting get a double up if you have a few extra dollars in your pocket you know what i mean just to make a good investment because this is like the stock market it's if you have something liquid in my opinion but let's get into it guys so on the bottom of the shoe here we do get this palomino brown on the bottom all right we see the nike with the swoosh in the middle right there looking at the midsole on the shoe it is a white on both the outside and the inside of the shoe with the white stitching. Now coming up towards the base of the shoe on the shoe here, we get majority of a black, but then towards the back half, we get this brown Palomino. And it does have a slight pattern change. You move your hand past the suede, but not that much. It does have a very slight pattern change, even on the swoosh here, but not that much. Once again, we do get some brown stitching on the swoosh and on the brown patterns and on the black patterns on the shoe. It is on the black stitching. Now coming towards the inside of the shoe here, same thing. I don't really see a lot of glue stains or stitching errors on my shoe. I got a very good pair. And like I said, guys, these are a must have in my opinion. It's black, it's brown. You cannot go wrong with this color scheme on a lot of different clothes. So, you know, this, in my opinion, is a must have, especially for the price of 180 to 220. You can't beat it. Looking at the toe box here, these will crease up pretty easily on you. You can use my code of Y Davis on creasebeast.com to save yourself five bucks off Creasebeast protection. They do sell out on the site, and I mean fast, so you guys have to stay locked in on that site. But you can use my code Y Davis for a discount. Looking at the mud guard here, we do see some black, a little bit of glue stains there white white stitching and you see the very detailed stars creeping up from the bottom of the shoe now a little bit of a disappointment on these they only did come with black laces so technically you know they did see it as only being with black laces but you can put white laces in them i took the white laces out of my lost and founds just to show you guys what they look like but we do get a black mesh tongue on this shoe and at the top here we get like a yellow nike air with the swoosh in the middle on the inside of the tongue it just tells us where the shoe is from and everything like that these shoes were made in china on the sock lining of the shoe, it is in black. Taking out the actual insole on this shoe here, we do get some tissue inserts on these as well. The insole is in black. We do get the cheap insoles. We get the fake um, Dream Cell insoles on this, as you guys can see right here. So a one step downgrade from the Dream Cells, but they do still feel pretty comfortable on feet, in my opinion. On the actual logo, it does say Nike Air on like a gold. And we get the size of sticker over top of the logo, not on the bottom of the logo. All right, underneath the actual insole, it is gray with some black and white stitching. And we get a thin piece of tape in there. The production dates on this was 
020123 to 031723. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the inside of the shoe right there. All right, coming towards the back of the shoes here, we get the black leather at the top of the back of the shoes. We do get that brown palomino, black, and then it goes back down to that brown palomino on the bottom of the shoe, all right? Now, I'm sure you guys, my foot is in the toe box right now. Okay, guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean, in my opinion. Now, I'm a true size nine. I'm gonna get nine and a half in all my shoes. I did go up half a size on these. If you have a wider foot or need a better wearing experience, I suggest you go a half size up. You can go full size up, but in my opinion, you might as well go a half size up. It's just a better wearing experience in my opinion now with that being said i'm sure you guys my foot is in the toe box so i'm working around but if you guys cannot tell my big toe is right here i do have a little bit of space in the front of the toe box but not that much and this shoe is unlaced as you guys can see and i have no slippage on here at all just in case you guys are worried about going half a size up and want to see you know how it looks on foot but these are really amazing they feel really nice on feet even though we don't have the dream cell insole on these but i'm gonna show you guys would you like some different pants options right now Okay, guys, so we got this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love and stay tuned.